Hi and welcome to episode number 636 with whatsforchannel.com and episode number 6 of our Still Spirits Air Still series. In this part of the series we are going to cover making rum using molasses. To make your rum you'll need to assemble the following ingredients. Yeast nutrients 10 grams. This is for a 10 litre batch. This will give your yeast all the nutrition it needs to survive the trip. Yeast activator, also 10 grams. This thickens the yeast cell balls and helps it to survive in high sugar wash situations. We need a quarter teaspoon of diammonium phosphate and a quarter teaspoon of citric acid. The diammonium phosphate provides the nitrogen that the yeast will need and the citric acid will adjust the pH level to around about 5.5. Then we need 10 grams of distiller's yeast. I also have 5 kilograms of black molasses, black strap molasses. This is the lowest sugar content molasses but it has the most flavor and you'll notice that there are no added sulfites. Sulfites will inhibit yeast growth. In addition to that, we need 1.45 kilograms of brown sugar. Now your target for sugar when distilling your sugar content of the wash. In total, that's your sugar plus the molasses. Now remember that we're going to have 5 kilograms of molasses. This molasses is only 37% sugar. So 5 kilograms of that will give us 1.85 kilograms and we want to make it up to 3.3 kilograms of sugar for a 10 litre wash. So here we have to bolster the sugar content in the molasses we're going to add the 1.45 kilograms of brown sugar. In addition to that, all you need is 5 litres of water to top it all up. I have put the black strap molasses into a hot water bath, 10 bottles the same size as this, into a hot water bath to soften the molasses because it is very thick and syrupy and quite difficult to get out of these containers. In our first step, we're going to activate the yeast. So we're going to add them to a jar pour in about a cup full of warm water at 30 degrees Celsius and add the yeast. Give that a good stir. Break up any clumps in the yeast activator. Now we're going to let that stand for about 20 minutes before adding it to the wash. We're going to add the sugar to the fermenting vessel along with a little bit of hot water just to cover the sugar and then we're going to start adding the molasses now to clean out the jars just half fill one of the jars with hot hot water and pour it back and forth with the other jar, with another of the jars. And this will dilute all of the sticky stuff left in the jars. And simply add that to... and continue the process until all of the jars are done. Alternatively, and probably the easier way, is to put the lids back on the jar, put a little hot water in each one, and give it a good shake. Okay, all of the sugar and all of the molasses is in. Now we want to give this a good stir until everything has totally dissolved. This goes quite quickly. The water is quite warm. The balance of the water that will go in to the fermenting vessel now will be cold water which will balance it off close -ish to our target temperature of 28 degrees. 
I can still feel a little bit of granule at the bottom. Just continue for a minute longer. We're going to leave that like that for the meantime. I'm going to take a reading. It's sitting at 39 degrees now, so I'm going to add water up to the 10 litre mark on the fermenter. This is cold water. So this will drop the temperature down to, well, it will be closer to our target. If we're lucky, we'll hit target. And there we go, 10 liters. Let's give that another stir. By this stage, all of the sugar has dissolved. Everything's looking very good. That all nicely combined. As you can see, it is a very dark liquid and we're sitting at 34 degrees, so we're going to allow that to stand and cool for a little while. At 28 degrees, I'm going to pitch the yeast along with the yeast nutrient. This will take seven to nine days to ferment out. As it ferments out and the sugars are consumed by the yeast, this liquid will become much thinner. As you can see now, it is a thin syrupy liquid which coats the spoon as the sugar gets consumed this will become much thinner okay we're gonna leave that for about 20 minutes let that cool down to our target temperature and then we'll proceed okay we're down to 28 degrees what we're going to do now is pitch the yeast first we need to add the citric acid and the diammonium phosphate the yeast nutrient. Let's give that a stir. Get that all mixed up. And then finally the yeast. And one final stir. We're going to put the lid on and Place this in a position where it can stand while it ferments at about 24 Celsius. If you go higher than this, it will ferment quicker, but you'll start picking up off smells. And colder than this, it will slow down until eventually, if you get too cold, it will stall and stop fermenting altogether. So in our next episode, we will clear this and then distill it. Thanks for joining us today. Please like, share and subscribe. And we'll see you again in our next episode.